Okay, everyone, we're continuing on with the wax melt empties. This one here is Yankee Candles, which I picked up in all these stores also. They were 99 cents of what we can see right there. Still left to the purchasing tag. And this is their new version of the way they make their wax melts. And this one here happened to be in the mango ice cream flavor. These are 0 0.8 ounces for 99 cents in all these. I mean all these. And here um, it says new fast fragrance wax melt singles. And this did smell like a very tropical fruity mango. But there was a vanilla creaminess to it. It was very good and it threw really good. And, um, yeah, check out your Ollie's because they have more than just this scent in Ollie's. There, there's a variety of different scents that your Ollie's store is carrying in these Yankee Candle singles anymore. The Melt Singles. It's very, very good. But there's a lot of different other scents to choose from that your Ollie's will have there. I've seen some Christmassy scents. I've seen some other um, summer, spring related scents, some beachy scents. I've seen a variety. So, yeah. If you're still interested in Yankee Candle and burning or melting their um, wax singles, check out Ollie's. Okay, that one was very good. And this one here is new this um, spring and summer for 2023. This is the Better Homes and Gardens Verdant Palm. 2.5 ounces. It was in a... Um, emerald kelly green color of wax there's an ever so little bit stuck there at the top um kind of like the border it's like a bright kelly green and i did get um the zesty lemon i got vanilla i got this fresh um green leaf um type of scent um a breeziness but not oceany um, just a regular windy breeze is how I can fresh air type of a note I got with this. This was very different. I've never had anything like it ever before. Not even close to this. This was very, very good. Um, there's supposed to be a green apple in this, um, also. Not on those scent notes, but on the bigger description on the website. And I do get a green apple note, but I get a lot of this zesty line. And this plant freshness, green freshness. I don't get grass or anything, but I get like fresh green leaves, like from the palms. And it's really, really good. It smells really good. And it's a good thrower. It's a 9 out of 10. It is really, really good. I think even one cube is more than enough. You don't necessarily need to put two. One is a powerhouse. This is a very, very good, clean, fresh scent with some white florals. And um, just some of the highlighted scent notes here is bergamot, citrus, lime blossom, bamboo, water lily, geranium, palm rose, white clove, vanilla, white birch, and sandalwood. This smells like a good lemon I'm not lemon. A good lime barbersaw shading cream for men. That's what this reminds me of. With the green, fresh plant, leafy type of notes with a breezy, um, fresh breeze coming by. Oh my God. This is freaking good. If you like that barbersaw type of shaving cream or a man who just shaved or is in the process of shaving his face and then you have the window open and there's a breeze coming in oh god this is freaking delicious um and it is mind you of having a man around the house or um if you happen to live by yourself ladies you only wish you had a man maybe living with you and he smells so good that's what this is like this is freaking delicious Okay, then we have another fall one. I've been pulling out fall scents here in alternating scents. This is the Better Homes and Gardens Farm Apple and Pumpkin. This comes back every year. Now, this is not to be confused with Farmhouse Pumpkin. 
This is farm apple pumpkin. The other one is farm house pumpkin. That is more pumpkin-y and apples in the background. This is its sister scent, but it's the opposite. This is more apple up front and pumpkin in the background. But either way, you can't go wrong with either of them. This has some highlighted scent notes of apple, pumpkin, cinnamon, orange, and maple butter. Yes, you do get that butter note, but you get the maple, like a butter maple syrup that you put on pancakes, waffles, French toast, whatever. You do get that. I get some orange from this. Um, not like orange dreamsicle or, um, molten orange, just regular orange. And I get the cinnamon, bakery cinnamon. I get the pumpkinness of this, but I also get the sweet, juicy Macintosh apple note from this. This is a lovely scent. It throws really good an eight, eight and a half a lot of times. And... The scent appeal on this is a 10 plus for me. So if you like apple, but you have, want a little pumpkin, this is the way to go. If you want more pumpkin and some apple behind it, then go for the farmhouse pumpkin. Okay? Very, very good. Then this one is new. It just came out a few weeks ago, and some people are still trying to find the newer ones. There was three new ones from Sensationals. There was three new ones from Better Homes and Gardens for the fall. This is the Better Homes and Gardens. I couldn't wait till I tracked this down, only that when I got it, I was disappointed. This here is the Apple Butter Cookies. Some of the highlighted scent notes, and it is poured from rim ports because there's the eight. This is supposed to be apple, pear, brown sugar, butter, cookie dough, warm baked cookies, and vanilla scent. And it is in a um, sort of red shade that has a tiny bit of a maroon look to it. I thought this was going to be a powerhouse. I thought that this was going to be an exceptional great fall scent. No. To me, it smells like freaking Play-Doh. I did do um, a review on this. If you look back in my video catalog, you will see I talked about this. I am disgusted with this scent. It smells like freaking Play-Doh. Horrible Play-Doh. The Play-Doh smell, when you open up the can, the Play-Doh smell after people have been playing with the Play-Doh. And you know what I'm saying? It gets even funkier and stinkier and more nauseating smelling. That's what this smells like. I'm so disappointed. So, I don't get any of that in there. Not one of these scents do I get. This smells disgusting. So, I will not be buying any more of this during this entire fall. I'm just going to stay with the Better Homes and Gardens caramel cheesecake cookies. I like that one better. This was disgusting. I remember a couple years ago, I can't remember if it's Sensationals or Better Homes or Gardens, but I have one clam left somewhere in my stash in my back room. I refused to melt it, but it was an apple butter scent from a couple years ago. And I went through a lot of it. I bought a lot of it. I went through it, but I kept one clamshell. I have it for already three or four or five years when it made its debut in Walmart. Um, that smells exactly like you're in front of a stand at a farmer's market, a fall festival, a carnival type of situation where apple cider is being made right in front of you with a mill. That's what that one smells like. It smells like the juices and the sweetness coming off. All those apples that are being grated and turning into apple juice. And then whether you want to add mold spices to it later. And you can get it hot or cold at that stand and buy any f version that they're selling it. Gallons, half gallons, um, quarts, whatever. That smell that you're getting by standing by that stand is what that wax smells like smells like i wish they'd bring it back this here no anybody who wants this you'll be able to find it eventually in your walmarts because i won't be buying this one up it stinks i don't like it 
that's all I have to say about it. Okay, this one here I bought during the spring and summertime. These were in Walmarts too. This was a line they were carrying. It was made by MVP Company, but they called it Carolina. This was the sandalwood, and these were 2.46 ounces. Why didn't they just make it 2.5? But all of them looked the same. They were all a pure stark white soy wax. Because it says on there, soy. I'm pretty sure it says somewhere on the back side. But these were all soy. It didn't matter what scent you had. They were all stark white soy waxes. I bought, I think, two or three of them, but um, different scents. But this is one of them. This was the sandal, uh, the vanilla sandalwood. This was really good. It had a real good vanilla smell on this. This smelled almost like a good vanilla extract. Even an imitation vanilla extract type of a scent. It was very, very good. And the sandalwood was warm and comforting in it. These throw half decent. I'll give them that. They're not strong powerhouses, you know, eights, nines, or tens. But it was a good seven and a half. And I see my Walmart is cleaned out of them. And they haven't um, put any new ones in the slots. So I don't think they're going to it. But I could be wrong. They might decide to fill it up again. I don't know. Because these do not scream a particular season. This is an everyday type of scent. But it was really good. Love that one. Okay, then we have um, another one here from Mainstays. This returns every single year in wax melts. It's also in all different variations of their candles. This is the Mainstays apple pumpkin this here is 1.25 the cubes are half the size of regular ones so when you put them together you might as well say you got three full ones this is a strong scent this is a great scent it returns every year for the years that they've been putting this out and of course everybody has their copycat versions and they maybe even copycatted it themselves everyone has an apple pumpkin or a pumpkin apple this here smells, again, of red Macintosh apples like you're showing here. The juicy, crisp crunch and juiciness of a red delicious, I mean, a Macintosh apple. It has some pumpkin spice notes in here. It also has an apple butter note in here. It actually smells a hell of a lot better than this apple butter cookie thing, which is a joke. This here smells like genuine apple butter that's jarred and canned or processed from a company like Lucky Leaf in, in case you don't can your own apple butter or a relative doesn't or you don't buy from a farmer's market or even an Amish stand you can buy apple butter even in the grocery stores so um yes it has that really good apple pumpkin-y smell you do smell spices in here of cinnamon, nutmeg, some sugar, brown sugar, regular granulated sugar. Um, it, it is super good. It's always in a dark maroon red color. And it's a powerhouse. And the scent is so yummy. This is the epitome of fall right here. It's got it all in the wax melt. Love this one. Throws like a beast too. In the warm, uh, the warmer with the melts, it, it throws, it scents up the room and wanders and travels into other areas. And it heases itself to you too. You go out to go get something and somebody's going to say, boy, you smell good. I smell apples. I smell pumpkin. Yep, this is it. This is freaking delicious. Okay, then we have this one, which I... I think I only bought the one and only one. Maybe I bought another one. I'm like, I can't remember. But anyway, this is the Alpine Forest. This is herbal citrus and red cedar. This is a very dark, dark split pea green or forest deep green color in the wax. This smells really, really good. I don't smell any pine in here whatsoever. It is more sweeter. That might be from the cypress. What the herbalness is in there is just regular herbal, herbal greenery being herbal. And the red cedar wood, you smell a little bit of that cedar, but you really get more of the cypress. This is not pine salt. This is not Mr. Pine salt. This is not Mr. Clean Pine salt. This is not, um, none of that. It's none of that. That's why I liked it. It's sweet. It's green. 
It throws half decent, at least an 8 out of 10, no matter which warmer. One piece will do you, unless you want to double it up. But um, this also comes in candle form. This is really nice for somebody who doesn't like pine or just wants something different than pine for a change. This was really good. So, I, like I said, I think I might have another one. I'm not sure. But when I go to the store, I'm going to grab me another two of this. And I'm going to stuff them away till Christmas time. Yeah, this is really, really good. I really enjoyed it because I'm really not a person that likes pine and woods. And I don't even like it in cleaners. I clean my home with anything that's from lemons to oranges to flowery something or other because I do not like the smell of pine one bit. So, yeah, this is really good. Even though it's saying alpine forest, it doesn't mean there's pine in the scent. It's cypress and red cedar is what's in here. The herbaliness is, like I'm trying to tell you, it's like a plant herbaly type of a thing. It's not like herbal lavender. That's not in here either. It's very good. And speaking of lavender, I used this up, and this is the only one I bought when this first appeared on the shelves in Walmart. This is the Better Homes and Gardens Peppered Lavender and Cedar. This is lavender, peppercorn, cedar, wood, amber, bergamot. It was in a very, very light, 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 washed out lavender color. It was so washed out, the shade. But anyway, very, very um, pale. Paler than this purple showing on here. That's close enough. Um, that's actually darker than what the wax was. The wax was even much lighter than that yet. But anyway, I did get some lavender from it. I wouldn't say it was medicinal lavender. It was kind of a little on the sweet side. And I did get the cedar wood the woodiness, and I did get like that peppercorn type of a note in there. I'm not sure if I was getting the amber or the bergamot, but the other three, yeah. And it was pleasant. It threw half decent. It wasn't over overpowering like some lavenders or woody scents are. Um, it was probably about a seven and a half out of ten. The throw, it was half decent. I liked it. Because normally I don't even go for this kind of stuff except for lavender lemonade, which I am bonkers over. But I need with the herbaly, this, that. So I tried it, but it's good. It's not bad. It's half decent. Would I buy it again if I seen it? I'd probably pick another one up, but I wouldn't, you know, go stock crazy on it because that's not my kind of scent. But to enjoy it once in a while, sure. Okay. This is here, the other watermelon I was talking about when I was saying about the Better Homes and Gardens. Um, this one I already reviewed for you here, and I've done many reviews and separate videos about it. But here's the other one. This is the Sensationals Water Melon Kiwi Lemonade, where that was melon. This is the Kiwi one. This smells exactly the same. I don't care if they change the words, change the picture on the label. It all smells the same. I don't smell any difference between melon or even kiwis. They might have it wrote there, but it all smells like a juicy, fresh-cut watermelon right under your nose with the black seeds. It is damn good. I love it. And I have many of these in my collection, many of those. And the Sugar Watermelon by Sensationals, i pretty sure I used it all up. And I reviewed it in one of my last videos. I don't care for that one. It's not strong enough. These two are powerhouses. So, yeah. This is exactly the same scent. But the Sensationals Sugared Watermelon, no. That is a very weak, weak one. These both are strong. And they smell identical. So they could change the words, whatever they want, and this and that. It's the same scent. Love this. This is an 8.5, sometimes a 9. Depending on the batch and when it was made and la la la. Yeah. Love this scent. Got lots of it to go through yet. Okay. This is also another one that me and my husband are both nuts over. He picks this up a lot. Every time we go in there, it's like radar. It's like he's, him and this are opposite magnets of each other. My husband throws us in the car all the time. This is the Better Homes and Gardens Blueberry Sorbet with highlight scent notes of lemon, blueberry, and sugar cane. This is always in a dark periwinkle blue color. It always smells sweet. Very sugary, very sweet. It smells 
of blueberry. It smells like, um, they're saying blueberry sorbet, but to me, it smells like blue bubblicious bubble gum. The, bear, the blueberry bubble gum from blueberry um, bubblicious or hubba bubba that when that came out, the hubba bubba gum. So, and um, I guess big league chew kind of thing. I think they had some kind of a blueberry other than the regular ordinary everyday original blueberry flavor. Yeah, this is great. He put, puts, puts it in the cart every time we go to any Walmart. Throws it in the buggy all the time. Okay, we're down to three more. This one here, I love. It's been around now, I think, for at least four years, maybe five. This is the Sensational Salted Caramel Buttercream. That sweet life. Limited edition, but it's never limited. It's 2.5. It's always in a nice color, like what those little remaining pieces are right there. They're like a light, um, a light tan with a yellow undertone to them, a golden color. This is freaking fabulous. This is gourmand. This tastes like... Um, the sweetness of the buttercream icing, it smells like a little bit of a bakery kind of, um, cupcake -y or something like they're showing on the picture there. And it smells a lot of the thick, ooey, gooey, caramelized caramel that is cooking in a kettle when you cook caramel in a kettle and add some sea salt to it. Yeah. This is a 9 out of 10 in throw, and it don't matter what version of warmer or heat you're providing. And this makes your mouth water. This is the real good, good kind of salted caramel note with buttercream and a bakery note at it. Yeah, love it, and I, you already know, I got tons of this in my stash. Tons, tons, and tons. Yes. I don't know where I'm going to put any more wax, but I keep finding... Some little spots here and there to stash more and more. Okay, this one here just came out this past spring and fall. I don't, I mean, in spring and summer, I don't know why it would come out then, but it did. I guess they're trying to tell you that this isn't just for fall. This is the Sensational Farmhouse Cookies. A lot of people love this scent. And the little caption says, absolute, absolutely delicious. And 2.5 ounces. Again, it is in a light caramely color. There's some resident pieces right down there. It's the same color as the one I just reviewed. It's that same light sandy tan color. And this is another one. You smell the cookies. You smell these little dried out pieces of apple, but still have a little moistness to them. The kind like you find in your apple cinnamon oatmeal in the mornings if you are an apple cinnamon lover of Quaker oats. Yeah, those little tiny, slightly dehydrated pieces of apple bits, but there's a little kind of a chewiness left to them. Yeah, that's what this smells like. And brown sugar and butter and that cookie aroma and a little bit of caramel. Yeah. This is the bomb. This one throws really, really good, too. Exceptionally good. So if you pick up just these two, you're already in heaven. Let me tell you. This is this is the bomb, the both of them. And they're both sensational. They are scrumptious if you are a person who loves decadent bakery gourmani stuff right here. Okay, and the last one I have for you, I don't remember if this came out last year, but it is here this year, because they did have a pumpkin spice one that has a pumpkin pie on it. But this one here is also in Walmart. It is made by Candle Warmers. And this one here is the Aluma, Aluma oh, oh my Lord, the Aluma Scents Pumpkin Vanilla Latte. Long-lasting fragrance. These, oil, these are soy blended wax, because it says right there, Made with natural soy, they were a pumpkin-y, you know, what you call the traditional punky, pumpkin, the pumpkin color. Not a pumpkin on the outside or the inside. Like when the pumpkin is processed and put in cans now, it's that kind of a color. Like I'm telling you, it's like this border here. It's a pumpkin-y color and a little bit of scent notes or caption here, whichever way you want to look at it. It says warm pumpkin and vanilla topped with whipped cream. You do get this pumpkin spice latte creaminess, but you also get the creaminess and a sweet tiny bit of whipped cream as if it just came out of the can. And two pieces of this in the warmer, 
it throws very well, 8 out of 10, and it's scrumptious. So now I'm telling you, if you are limited to what you can buy, but you like gourmand and you want to be in the loop for the apple pumpkin business and a caramel lover, if you just pick up these four right here, or at least two of them, and then two, some, two of something else that you like, fallish, or whatever, there's a lot to choose from. And if you buy four clamshells and you do get them... Um, still at $2 in your store, you're set for at least two weeks. Maybe even three, depending on if you melt every day, burn every day, um, whatever. The point is, you can definitely get yourself, you know, a few of these or some other scents that you like, whatever. And, and you can get a warmer in Walmart cheap. You, you can get a tea light warmer for a little over $7 and you get some tea lights with it. Walmart is the best place to go for the tea lights, for the amount you get and the price. Other places like Michael's and, um, I was going to say Big Lots, they want more for their tea lights. Their ordinary, everyday, clear white tea lights. Or maybe they're a little on the cream side sometimes. They have both versions. They're more expensive. Go to Walmart. If you're looking for an electric warmer, go to Amazon. You can get a good deal. $35 or more gets you free sh free shipping. Um, also, Walmart has a lot of great electric warmers that you plug in, hot plate, bulb version. You can definitely find yourself something. Or if you're looking for a gift for someone or a birthday gift or just an I don't care, I love you type of gift, whatever. There's always something for you and someone else. You don't have to break the bank in order to enjoy a nice warmer and some lovely scents that you like around you. And they help relax you. They they pick up your mood other times, whatever. It's not that expensive to start out with this. It does become a habit and you do become addicted unless you have some very strong willpower. But um, yeah. So check out your Walmart, check out your Amazon, and everyone keep me and my putty cat in your prayers. And um, if you like either of these videos, thumbs them up and leave some comments down below. I like to hear from you. And I'll answer them because I answer just about everybody. I try not to leave a question unanswered or even if someone's making a statement about something. So... Until I talk to you again, hopefully under better circumstances next time, everyone be good, be kind, and keep your spirit up, and I'll talk to you real soon. So long, everyone.